You know, your business case is a very good point because you know, we'll probably focus you know, the efforts towards uh, that end. But uh, you know, mm -hmm. maybe stronger emphasis on uh, any of those issues. You know, we'll a broader address. range. Okay, good point. Christine, I promise next. I was trying to digest actually what our group here had said earlier. Um, we've been, I, I like your idea, I think it's great. And um, the context is important or the framework so that it's not too big. Mm -hmm. So perhaps it's like uh, we were just talking about, you've been charged mm -hmm. to tell Dr. Who, so whoever, mm -hmm. all about MOOCs. But that doctor is going to give you some parameters. Mm -hmm. So that would be kind of, that would help narrow your focus a little bit. So yeah. now we're practicing. And then part of the yeah. exercise could be, who at your institution are you going to need to engage? Mm -hmm. Should it be taking those people out to lunch? Or should it be mm -hmm. going to the faculty mm -hmm. committee? Or blah, 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 blah. So that you're also forcing, we're, we're learning how to then take a charge and implement, you know, do something yeah. with it. So what if we did this? What if we made that group, six, the President's Council? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Tonya, to your point, it's not just one individual, mm -hmm. and then we can map out a variety of different personalities. Mm -hmm. I would suggest, too, maybe about three or four hours before they're about to do their final presentation that you introduce to each group a saboteur element that they had overlooked. Ooh. You know, you're, you're at the 11th hour and, oh. down, and you forgot to account for yeah. this particular person or group or thing at your university. And that would give it a real, an even more real That's assurance. Evil. That's evil. That is evil. I love it. It's evil. Joanne. Um, maybe I'm the dissenter. That I really like the case because when it comes to the various technologies and disruptions, I, I kind of learn a lot about that just through what my job mm -hmm. is. But by having a situation in that where we took the roles of different um, components of the university we're not familiar with, student affairs and mm -hmm. various other places, and the team that I was at, we, what was most important to me was not the presentation, but the working together as a team to tackle a larger issue that I don't normally encounter yeah, yeah, in yeah. what my day-to-day mm -hmm. -day life is. And that international project set mm -hmm. that up for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But maybe you could still have the different, you know, departments as part of that whole process that delivers the information at MOOCs or yeah. open educational yeah. resources. Having the role, I agree with Joanne, having the roles was really helpful. Right. Yeah. And helped to identify stakeholders too. Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering as you're talking if we can weave these two things together. So we just moved from you meeting with an individual to you meeting with a council. Maybe we still have this international opportunity. But the international opportunity has some element of each one of these innovations embedded in its storyline somehow. Mm -hmm. I have to think that through. Liz. Um, so the IELOL alums will volunteer to be the saboteur. I like that. <laughs> Barbara. Will people be able to um, select the, the subject of their interest to go to that particular group? Do you get to select the subjects of your interest at work? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we did this year, remember? Remember we put up on the wall and yeah, people said it? So I'm just wondering, if, yeah. you know, it, it seems to me that it, the way you're thinking about mm -hmm. it, it would set itself up naturally. Like if you got several, you know, like a large batch of people picking a certain topic, mm -hmm. then just make two groups with yeah. that topic mm -hmm. so yeah. it's easy to handle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I like the idea of self selection. The challenge with that always for me is we tend to go to where we're comfortable. Yeah. And sometimes it's being pushed out of that comfort zone a little bit that, that, that can help. For me, it's really not about comfort level. It's about I only have so much time. I want to focus on something mm -hmm. that's going to be as applicable yeah, as yeah, I can yeah. possibly to your work. imagine to what yeah. I'm going to need. Yeah, so you get extra benefit out of it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. One more, one more comment. And then with the... Would all of this be collected possibly and put into some type of document that could be shared among the community? Mm -hmm. The yeah. entire community. Yeah. yeah. So, so that we all get to see so, it. So what we're doing is we're building, um, and I've got a, we just we're hired at, at COIL, we just hired a, uh, a, a program <coughs> manager. And what we're going to be doing is building a database environment so that we're going to add these, these instruments and these documents and these things. And then the next year, when the next year comes in, they have access to all of that data previous. If that topic is still of interest, who knows by next year we won't even be saying MOOCs, we'll be saying something else. But yeah, but, but to make that smooch. <laughs> so, but I like that, Tony, I like that idea. I personally would have loved it if Dr. Sang gave me some really hardcore critical feedback mm -hmm. on my part in um, a case fit. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, I mean, we're worried about hurting people's feelings, but truly this is kind of a safe place where we can make a mistake and try it. And right. when, when you say, do this, that's like the most valuable feedback. Yeah, yeah. And if, if yeah. Dr. Sang would have said, this part of your presentation was good, but you would have never convinced me saying that, yeah. I would have taken mental note and done it better next time. And doing it in, a, in an environment where I'm not screwing up in front of my boss would have been awesome to get like a scorecard. Okay. Yeah, because like when you have all this leadership, you know, this this kind of buffet in front of you, <laughs> you want to get everything out of yeah, yeah. you. So having the, maybe at the end of dinner saying, okay, when when I'm sitting in meetings, here's what convinced me. Yeah. Okay. When I'm getting proposals, here's what really speaks to me. I think that would be extraordinarily illuminating for the folks on on this side because. We don't have the benefit of that experience. We don't know how to convince you or cajole you or, you know, is it just taking you to lunch, you know, or yeah. what are the other things we need to do to kind of get our... And you got a few of those. Marie yeah. gave you yeah. this, I need this yeah. and this, you yeah. know, so those More. little tidbits, yeah, bring More. it on. Okay, Gail? The only other thing I'd say is that it would be great if you all would say, you know, I never thought about this, but because you all gave me this data, mm -hmm. You convinced me. And so I think you know what you want, but you kind of don't know sometimes when people say something, you say, oh my, yeah, you did it. So getting that feedback from them for each of the groups, this is why I bought in because so and so said this. Yeah. And so we, we all get the benefit rather than just the benefit of the group. Okay. You know, not, I'm sort of agreeing with all of you. I, it would also be important, I think, sometimes when people come to me with something, it, even if I think it's a good idea, in my head I have filed away right. the four other groups that will kill me yes. yeah. right. if I say yes, yeah. and yeah. all of the political machinations. Yeah. And it, to some extent, it would be really important for you all to hear that. Too. Yes. 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 A lot that goes on. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, just for clarification of the record, Marie Sinney was invited this past summer, yeah. <laughs> but was unable to join us. But maybe next year. Maybe we'll get you come back next year. I'm watching our time and knowing that we have to move to a pro the uh, next speaker is at 4.30, the key, the opening to Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. We love you. You guys are marvelous. Go for it.
We should be very proud of you. Thanks. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you guys yeah. 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 engage so, in this community. Um, yeah. 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 I don't think it's okay. Yeah. 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 And we're under like IT and library. It's just so personal connection. So when you come here, you say, oh, yeah, that was great. Right. 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 We're all together now. Mm -hmm. so yeah. the cross Maybe we could do it with them. Um, uh, you know, like, whatever the activity yeah. is, you could ask us to.